science is killing us. This, ladies and gentlemen, is poison. Poison being dropped on us. Nobody's doing anything about it. Congress is not doing anything about it. But this is being dropped on them and their children and their grandchildren. So what is going on behind the scenes? When I moved to the Pacific Northwest thinking I would find clean air and seeing these trails above that were blocking in some cases 60, 70, 80 percent of my solar uptake, clearly something was going on. And research led me to this subject. I began testing water, did not want to find these toxic heavy metals, but I did in ever increasing amounts. I'm in this fight because my children have no future if we don't stop this. And even if we stop this, we faced immense challenges, immense. There is even more climate engineering going on above the clouds on days like today. And we know this because it's coming down in the rain. These particulates are so small, they enter right through the lung lining, go straight into the bloodstream, and adhere to your cell receptors like a plaque. Again, we are all getting dumber by the day. And that's why, again, I focus on this issue. If we can't think clearly, what challenges will we face? None. We will face none. And as far as what the global elite do to exempt themselves, there are chelation methods available to them that we don't have. It's up to us to act. It's up to us to do what we can. Earth is now a toxic planet. There's no question about this. You can't hide from this. In fact, the only uncontaminated body of water on the planet is Lake Vostok in Antarctica because it's below a mile of ice. That's it. Nothing is uncontaminated, but the greatest single source is, again, climate engineering. All roads lead back to climate engineering. Why are the bees dying off? Colony collapse disorder. And I've spoken to the head bee people in the country, but they won't look. So why are the bees dying a thousand miles into the wilderness? They're looking at a chemical, and chemicals are bad. But why are the bees dying a thousand miles into the wilderness? We have a study from 2010. A thousand whales from the most remote places on the planet that had, quote, jaw-dropping levels of aluminum in their tissue. There is nowhere to hide, nowhere to hide from this. How many have already died? How many people have already died as a direct result of these programs? Respiratory mortality in the continental US from 2005 to 2010 went from eighth on the list of mortality to third. That's an astronomical amount of people. How many people have asthma, Alzheimer's? By the way, the Alzheimer's Association about a month ago refused to sell me a $500 sponsorship for their event because they told me in no uncertain terms they did not want me talking about aluminum being connected to Alzheimer's. So we did a little research and found out that elements of the aluminum industry sponsor the Alzheimer's Association. We have with the geoengineering weather warfare. We know that cyclonic suppression is not only possible but being done. This is hurricane suppression and hurricane augmentation. We saw Cyclone Haiyan last year in the Philippines cut a swath through that island nation, and now the U.S. military is there under humanitarian pretext, but now they're setting up bases. Same thing happened in Pakistan. Same thing in Thailand. Thailand refused the U.S. a military base that they told Thailand was for weather monitoring. The Thai government apparently knew it was for weather manipulation. They refused the base. Thailand immediately found itself underneath record floods. So we know this is going on, and when you have climate engineering, you cannot separate that from biological warfare. You cannot. So we have a climate science community that is either clinically blind, in total denial, or lying for a paycheck. How can you have the largest scientific panel in human history, the IPCC, 2,000 climatologists, that cannot recognize this atrocity in our skies. How is that possible? It doesn't take a lot of consideration to answer this question. It's about power and control. It's always been about power and control. And we have leaders of nations on the floor of the UN stating that their country is being droughted out by NATO weather modification programs. This is fact, absolute fact. Our media does not cover any of this. The power structure, the military industrial complex will never, ever admit defeat, never. If I talk to a, an insider with these programs, I, I can't release his name, but I published the conversation. And here's what he said. The government will 
never disclose these programs because they know if the public found out, and I'm quoting about verbatim, they would find those responsible and shoot them or hang them in front of a firing squad. They know how the public will react to this. If we're to have any chance for a living planet, we must stop this, we must stand together. We must take a stand together. One of the most incredible men that I feel ever lived, Martin Luther King, said there comes a time when silence is betrayal. And we are at that time now.